In this video, I want to take a look at Kendrick Law, the second-year player out of Shreveport, Louisiana, a consensus four-star player, top 100 player, and one of the top athletes in all of Louisiana. Uh, he had a torn hamstring early on, so he had some limited action early in the season and then missed a big chunk of the year, but came back in the Ole Miss game, uh, had a few crucial catches. So in this video, I'm going to take a look at uh, some of – his film from last year, and then also a couple of clips from the 8A game. So this is the first game of the year against Utah State. Just a little play over the middle. He gets absolutely blasted. Uh, but what stands out to me is that he hung on to the ball. And out of all the film I've watched, I don't think I've seen him drop a pass yet. A uh, very physical player, played a lot of positions in high school. Uh, seems to be a dynamic runner with the ball in his hands. Uh, just a great catch here. And then he's in the slot at the top of the screen here. Just a little simple play behind the linebacker, but you can see one, two, took three guys to bring him down. Uh, very elusive, really shifty, good runner. He's a true freshman in this season. So he tore his hamstring, missed a bunch of games, came back, Ole Miss game. Alabama's down. Uh, you can see here he finally gets meaningful snaps. This was a big drive. Mid-third quarter trailing, very next play. Uh, gets the first down to move the sticks. And he only had three catches in this game, but they were all impact plays. Again, third and three, you can see, just kind of sits. Know the situation, know how to get open. That's all you got to do there. First and 20, they're backed up. Again, he gets about half of it back here. Nothing special, just showing all of his targets. Very small sample size to go off of. Here you see him at the top come in motion. So this was an amazing play by Bryce. And it doesn't go to Kendrick Law, but watch this right here. He doesn't retaliate. I love this kind of stuff. Just want to show this, how easy it would have been for him to retaliate when he gets popped in the face right here. Team just made a big score. Besides, nope, not going to hurt the team. So now we move ahead to the Iron Bowl. First quarter, he's out there with the first unit rotating in. This throw is off target because Bryce is rushed. So nobody's fault, really. Uh, but you can see he's targeted here. And if you watch, he kind of comes underneath like a drive concept. He's the second man behind Brooks. He's definitely open. Uh, Would have been nice to see a catch and run. Just quarterback didn't have time. Later on in the quarter, still 7-7 with the first team. A uh, good little throw here to move the sticks on third down. It was a late hit on Bryce, so the drive continued, or maybe it was offsides. Uh, but a good little catch here over the middle nonetheless. Second quarter, third and 19. You know, he showed a penchant for these kind of third down plays. Uh, this was the play a lot of us probably remember. Once he's in the open field, he's a dangerous player. Uh, very dangerous. Elusive physical you know he shows flashes of it uh, I like a lot of what I've seen out of Kendrick Law so far and it's a very small sample size but that's why I want to break him down just in what I've seen he looks like a pretty solid route runner and when he gets the ball in the open field he's just one of those guys you kind of hold your breath here's a better view from the uh, from behind and you can just see with him in the open field he's quick physical so now we go to the 8A game, and this is a pass here. Jalen drops it right in the bucket. Perfect throw, uh, but great tracking here by Law. Those over-the-shoulder catches where you have to know where the sidelines are. They're difficult, and that was a great play. Uh, later on, third and 17. Again, he's a third down weapon. Perfect throw, perfect catch. Gets his foot down. Good field awareness, good concentration. Uh, just has really good ball skills. Again, this throw right here, it's just a whole shot throw. The safety's coming over. Uh, hard throw to make, hard catch, but, I mean, perfectly executed there. Now late in the game, this is fantastic coverage by Kool-Aid. I mean, he's all over law, so just so you can kind of see first person to really stay on him and make a play. Uh, but I think Kool-Aid is arguably the best player on the team. So 
Where do things stand? You know, this has Law as the second team. There's absolutely no way. I mean, they had Law and Benson out there together. Obviously, with Brooks, Benson, Law, and Bond, uh, I mean, then you've also got Kobe Prentice and Jermaine Burton. I mean, there's six players right there uh, that are going to rotate with the first group. But out of all six of those, my favorite is Law. I think he's going to have a breakout year. I think he's going to turn into the next big star for this team. A lot of people have thrown out the Debo Samuel comparison. They both were number 19. I love Debo Samuel. I like the comparison again, but I think the better comparison is Steve Smith Jr., uh, the old player for the Carolina Panthers. Uh, maybe a couple inches taller than Smith, but plays kind of the same way. Good field awareness, uh, just phenomenal uh, skills in the open field, very elusive. But I'm excited to see what he'll do. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll be breaking down more of these all summer.